newspapers in, in the provinces, and they would go to television channels operating the province and say to them, look, we'd like to buy into your company. And they said, well, we don't want to sell. And they'd say, well, look, if you don't buy in, we won't give you whatever program it was. They had something called, like Dancing with the Stars or something like that, some program that millions of people oh, watched. Right. And if they didn't have it, they wouldn't have it. Things like that. And many things. And then Clarine tried to wipe out the union representatives inside, you know, things like that. So he gave a list of all those things. And then said, that does not mean that we want to destroy Clarine. But he said that because he couldn't, but he did. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to see Clarine wiped off the map. And these, these people, in that way, I think they, they believe in government. Uh, Intervention. Yeah. yeah, they believe in it, you know. And they believe that the government should have its own newspapers and should... And they think it would be better for everybody, too. But, but so ultimately he was conceding the, 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 the main point. Yeah. That's not a reason to destroy or to wipe out Clarion. Right? Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. So that, like One of the great things was the before and after this column, which I think was yeah. key in preventing the government from taking over. I think, over. So. I think I mean, something happened. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It was, they couldn't discredit me. They would have liked to them, but they couldn't. They just couldn't. Oh, so. yeah, all the... Yeah. And they tried to get me in when I arrived, as you know. This awful man, Moreno, what's his name? Moreno, 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 Moreno. Moreno. Moreno, the, the, the secretary of the commercial, the, the one who, who, who beats people up. Yeah, yeah. And, and all these stories. Flying top, what? He said he tried to get me? He no, he down. tried to... He wanted me to Street give down. evidence against against Clarine La Nacion mm. in regard to Papel Prince, so he treated me as if I, you know, he almost called me compagnie, he called me compagnie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and another thing that I want to point out, that, that I think it's pretty, it would be very pretty easy to prove, is, is that, and because I don't want it to, to make it sound like, 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 like I'm bootlicking or anything, but in addition to all the work you, you have done for human rights and, and, and denouncing the disappearances and so on and so forth in, 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 the, in the 70s, or yeah, in, in addition, let's say, your defense of Timmerman when everybody was attacking him when he was in prison, without it, he would not have been released. And with his re with his release, he became he was turned into an icon, almost a yes, 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 yeah, yeah, a, 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 a weird. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the hero of sorts, yeah, yeah, yeah. which Arthur was instrumental in, in bringing down the the, the dictators. Yeah, very, very, and uh, you know, and when they Reagan was trying to get rid of the human rights activism in regard to supporting human rights in in and the United States policy, which changed change mm -hmm. quite considerably, but not as much as they'd have liked it to have done, because otherwise this man called Lefebvre would have taken over the job that Patricia Darren mm -hmm. had. And he, he went to the Senate, spoke in the Senate, he became an enormous hero, attacked ferociously and viciously by, by uh, the, the Wall Street Journal, the Commentary Magazine, and also by Buckley. Because he got angry at one time, Tim Mann got angry at one time and said, Okay, I'd like you to torture me, and then you, you know, why did you? It was a funny thing to say, but then who, who they. Who said that? Timmerman. Yeah, Timmerman said, Timmerman. "I want you to torture me." Yes, because he was kind of saying, "You people don't understand anything," and and it's difficult to explain how it, how it, how it happened. But more or less, he said, "I mean, he lost his temper and said, why don't you just torture me?'" Or something mm -hmm. like that, you know. I, I, let's have a public torture, then you know what torture is, okay? Come and torture me, then get somebody to torture me so you understand what I'm talking about, like that. And of course, they made enormous fun about that, of him. And, 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 but they lost, they lost, because he captured the imagination of everyone. The book is remarkable. The thing is, the book leaves out the reason why he was taken in, which was his involvement with Griver. And I asked him why he did that. He said, well, you, you know, you can't bring in those things. They're irrelevant. 
In a way, he's right, <laughs> because the book would have lost an enormous oh, amount. I see, I see. I mean, the book has tremendous impact, because you've left out all those extraneous things. If, if he, I mean, regardless of why he did it, he did the right thing, in a way. Right. But, I personally, if I would been writing the book, I wouldn't have left that important amount. I would have said, you know, the reason that they came for me in the first place was because and then I would have said the truth about Brian, but he doesn't. He leaves it all out of the book. So the book becomes very pure, but not pure. Right. <laughs> very pure in its uh, coverage of what they did to him and revealing of what they were like. And it's truthful. I don't have any doubt about that, that he's told the absolute truth. But there was an attempt to say he was never tortured there. Even one of the reasons that I was not at all friendly to a man called Anderson was because... To, to whom? This um, Martin Anderson. Oh, Martin Anderson. It turns out to be rather fine, but he's... He, but I, was because he insisted to me that he had he had sources among the military who, and he was absolutely convinced that Timurman was never tortured. It was a lie. Timurman made up the whole thing. It's just not true. I mean, and this I knew because while Timurman was being tortured, his, his brother was telling me about the torture and that he managed yeah, to communicate to him. And Marshall knew about it. Marshall Mann knew about it. So, I was trying to say something earlier, and it just it helps me to be able to say these things. In Argentina, you have a situation which is very hard to dis describe. It's, it's when everybody kind of knows what the truth is, but it can't be stated for weird reasons. I mean, and there was a situation like that in. Argentina at that time with the with the newspapers, it was really quite clear that the government was out to destroy those two newspapers using Papa Prensa and using Timmerman's claim that they got Papa Prensa on the torture chamber and that they were stained with blood and all that stuff. It was quite clear, but at the same time you couldn't really say that out loud. And people could pretend that that wasn't happening. And of course, you didn't want to think it was happening too. And there again, you couldn't think that a government would be like that. And that's one of the problems with this government, I think, because you don't really know what they're up to. You don't know really what they're up to. In, in that sense, the situation is 